So whenever we created our Apple Watch app project, we selected notification view. So our interface storyboard for the watch app comes with a notification view. Now, what exactly is a notification view? It's actually very similar to notifications within an iPhone. Um, whenever you see that screen, whenever you have an, a, a, a locked screen, you see all those notifications that say new email or new post or new Facebook post, new tweet or anything like that. Like for example, here you see a new photo post and whenever you will press that, it will show you the um, details, which is also called the long look interface. So this is called the short look interface and this is called the long look interface, which is basically the details of that specific notification. All right. So uh, we're not going to go into those details just yet, but right now let's be, a, let's uh, display these in the Apple watch simulator. Go back to Xcode and right here, instead of alert label where it says notification, we're going to replace that by new post. Okay. Now this is not going to show, but I'm going to show you why after, but I want you to show, I want to show you that this is not going to appear for a specific reason. Now, what I want you to do is right here in the scheme, click here and do new scheme or just do edit scheme for now. Okay. Edit scheme. Make sure you select my first watch app. Okay. And what you're going to do is the duplicate it. Okay. So we have a duplication. We're going to call this one notification of my first app. Okay. And press tab. So we don't move away from it, but it's created. Now what we're going to do is go to the run project tab and right here, the executable will be the notification view of the storyboard. There we go. That's the most crucial step right here and click on close. All right. Now what we're going to do is press the play button. Okay. So once this is done, usually the simulator just pops in front of us, but for some reason in this specific version of Xcode, uh, the simulator does not come. It stays in the background. So just click on it and it will show. Okay. And this is actually the notification. As you can see, it has buttons. It has my first app and a text message here. Now, the reason why this is not showing the new post that we have here, and it's actually showing that it's because by default Xcode, whenever you create a project, it comes with default text for your notification. Now the text of the notification might come from actually your web server or any ways you actually implemented it. But if not, you can just go into uh, supporting files of the extension, WatchKit extension, and you will see a push notification payload file dot JSON. Okay. And as you can see, it says the alert message should be test message content. This is the title, the category and first button, second button as far as these are for the actions and the custom key. Okay. So as, as you can see, all of these show right here, let me push this away. Okay. As you can see, they all show here, as you can see, my first app is the name of uh, the app. And then you have the test message continue content, which is right here for the alert first button and dismiss. Okay. First button and dismiss is always there by default because if you click on it, it goes back to your app. Okay. That's how it is. All right. So I'm going to press stop and that's all you need to know how to create your notification. Now, just for the sake of it, you can just change the text here and just write new post. Okay. And um, just press play. And as you can see, if you have the notification selected, it will show the text saying new post. There you go. All right. So have fun and play with the JSON string and play around. And uh, this is how you get to create your notifications for the Apple watch app. Thank you for watching.